We're on. Hey everyone. April and Stubby here again. He's loving his skin scratches. Yeah, your chin scratches. I am here today as April, your cat health coach, to talk about cat food once again. Why? Because what we feed our cats is really the basis of their health. What goes into their body is the foundation for sustaining their life, either in influencing their life and their health in a more positive direction or a more negative direction. So it just really can't be said enough how important the diet is. Every, almost every single case of kitty clients that I work with, it is beneficial to change their diet to a higher quality food. And in fact, I can't really even begin to address any other health problems unless it's something um, potentially completely unrelated. But oftentimes there's so many things that just really are related to what the cats are eating, even behavioral problems. Oftentimes people don't realize that something like urinating out of the box or um, defecating outside of the box can actually be something related to what they're eating. So anyway, everyone is always coming to me asking me what to feed their cat and what cat food brands I recommend. And this is hard because a few years ago I did a big um, research project and located my top 10 canned foods, my top 10 raw foods, and posted them as these are the ones that you know I've looked into and I would highly recommend. However, things are always changing. Some of those brands may go out of business or there may be new things on the market now that I don't even know about that might be really great quality foods. Um, now personally, for Stubbin, I feed him a raw food diet, so I don't go to the store, to the pet store, and see the new canned foods and whatnot, so sometimes I might not be privy to that. Um, and, you know, a raw food diet, I strongly believe is the best, healthiest diet for most pets. There are a few cases that that might not be the best situation, but I'm guesstimating probably 90% of cats that would be their very best diet. But I also understand, you know, this is modern world, modern life. There's reasons and issues for people to not feed a raw food diet. If you're going to feed a raw food diet though, simple, simply said, the best thing to do is to make sure it's balanced and complete. So either buy a complete and balanced pre-made raw diet from your pet store, or make sure you're really educating yourself and speaking with a veterinarian who's knowledgeable about raw feeding to be sure you're adding the right supplements and vitamins and minerals and some plant-based matter to make it a healthy diet. But when it comes to commercially made pet food, which is what most people are feeding, the simple basics breakdown of how to feed a good, great quality food is number one, no dry food. No dry food at all. That's it, it's that simple. I can't stress that enough. That's the first thing I have to do to change all of my kitty clients' diet is pick up the dry food. Even if you're feeding the very best quality dry food. You Don't they know not to call me? I'm doing a live video here, people. Come on. <laughs> anyway, you may be spending ridiculous amounts of money too. The dry food, some of the companies, it is so expensive and this is part of what irks me so bad. You know, these companies know, they know that this product is not for the best health of pets. And it really hurts me to watch companies, I'm thinking one in particular, I won't say them, but they started as a really sound ethical company years ago. And then they jumped on the wagon with everybody else and started making dry food because they needed to compete. They wanted, they wanted to compete. And you know, that's really the bottom line of it, why they 
they make the dry food and sell the dry food because all of you are buying it. The consumers are supporting it. However, they know it's not in the best interest of the cats. Um, and they're putting, they, they can only put so much protein into dry food because it's a piece of hard dry food. It's not like just meat isn't going to stay fresh in a bag on a shelf. So at best, the best highest quality dry food is about 45% protein. So that means the rest is carbohydrates and um, a bit of fat, maybe 10% of fat or less. And that's just not, that's not what your cat needs. Cats don't need lots of plant matter. At most, a cat really should only eat about 5% carbohydrates. So bottom line, it just, it doesn't matter what company, what brand, even if your vet is recommending it, um, you know, the cost of it, if it says high protein, if it says holistic, if it says organic, if it's a prescription diet, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's dry food, it's just basically like feeding your cat the equivalent of, you know, chicken nuggets and french fries um, every night with maybe a little tiny bit of green or broccoli over here. It's just very nutritionally unbalanced and unhealthy for a cat. So easy as that. Just get rid of the dry food, start feeding canned food only. And then as far as canned foods go, even your very lowest quality canned food is still a better diet overall than a dry food. Um, that's, it's just the matter of it because the canned food has more protein and more, um, moisture content that cats need but we do want to try to make sure we're feeding the best quality canned food we can that again doesn't have a lot of carbohydrates or fillers so it's pretty simple you all you have to do is look at the ingredients on the can and just understand first what it is you're looking at to make sure it's a great quality canned food and basically you just want to look at the ingredients and the very first thing needs to be some kind of meat protein. It needs to be either duck, chicken, turkey, lamb, venison, beef, um, ocean fish, salmon. The first thing needs to be, the protein needs to be the meat that it is. And you just to throw it out there, you wanna be careful not to feed your cat too much red meat, just like people, a couple times a week. Same thing with fish, a couple times a week. Do not keep them on red meat diet or fish diet all the time. You need to rotate the proteins. Um, the other thing, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is you need to make sure that the next ingredients should just be something, maybe water or duck broth, chicken broth, whatever it is. And then you'll have a few ingredients that are other types of proteins and vegetables. Maybe you have peas, maybe there's potato, maybe there's spinach, kelp, sweet potato, um, rice, and some different kinds of fruits. Sometimes there's cranberry, blueberries. And those are, those are the things you wanna look for, just whole food ingredients. Now, potatoes and rice, are still a little bit sketchy for a lot of pets. It depends, some pets can handle just like people. Some people can eat more carbs than others can and not have any problems. Same thing with pets. Um, you know, um, rice is a very low allergen grain, but there shouldn't be any other kinds of grain. No corn, no wheat, no soy, no dairy. You know, basically, if you see on another can and it says no da 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 da, Make sure that the can in your hand doesn't have all those things, you know, and you know it's a great quality food. The reason the other product is touting no grain, no wheat, no dairy, no soy, no carrageenan is because those things that are all found to be potentially harmful for your cat's health and a, a potential allergen. And that's the big thing here is reducing the allergenic response to your cat from the foods that are going in, into them. You want the food to be sustaining them and making them healthier not have allergies so i have a can here 
we do feed my dog canned food because she doesn't eat very, very well with raw since she's a finicky little chihuahua. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to read you the ingredients that are in this can and this one brand. But again, just to remember, it can you can feed any other brands. Just kind of use this formula. Just look for, it really should be very few ingredients. Like no more than 10 ingredients as far as the main food of the food. And it should be whole food sources. And then the rest should just be added mineral content that's added to the food. So this is a brand called Merrick is what we like. And so on hers, this is duck. So ingredients are deboned duck, water for processing, natural flavor, pea protein, calcium carbonate, organic alfalfa meal, and then a couple different uh, minerals, potassium chloride salt, flaxseed oil, vitamin E, vitamin B supplement, niacin, and the rest is all added supplements, iodine, um, an amino acid complex and and so forth. So that's it So the main you know the main ingredients of the the meat and the carbohydrate contents like seven eight different things and that's That's basically a simple basic plan to look for on your can of cat food And so that's it. That's how you can feed some really great quality food for your pet and Give them the best health and life possible all right. Thanks, guys.